Stone Coat Epoxy floors are perfect for bathrooms and kitchens. In this video, we're going to show you step by step how to do your own epoxy floor like a pro. The steps are simple and the outcome is fantastic. Learn to marbleize your own metallic floor from start to finish right now. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. This is the apartment we did years ago with Stone Coat. How does that look, man? Well, it looks great, except it's a big mess now because it's a construction zone. Okay, <laughs> we'll have to check it out when it's done. So on the floor, we're gonna level quick that, right? Before we do the, uh, so you'll want to do that right away so we can get that floor done. Okay. Because you want the moisture to get out of that level quick. You're going to wipe that dust up. You're going to use a sponge, really get it clean, sweep it, and then we'll apply that uh, level quick primer and then the level quick. And that okay. Works good. And so I can pick up that level quick primer here locally? Yeah, right it. I'm not going to say it because they don't pay me. <laughs> At a local hardware store. Yeah. Home Depot. You guys want me to say it out loud? Show me the money. <laughs> What's up, bro? How, How are you, man? Good. He's got his working kill on. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, what do you think of that level quick? It's beautiful. I can't wait to get some color on it with a with stone coat, but uh, it hit all my uh, all my mistakes, all my mess. Yeah, this was fun. It went fast. Two people is better than one. Yeah. You get help mixing. That's a pro tip. And then you get your you get your little boy on that camera. Keep going. Good. You there. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Now. You know how hard it is to tile a shower. I've that was an easy install in comparison, right? What color are we doing, Mike? We're gonna go, uh, instead of white with silver accents, silver with white accents. Excellent. Does that work? Yeah. All right, and then we're gonna do, in this coat, we're just doing silver as a primer. Okay. It's a self-priming product, so same product goes on as our primer, as a top coat, but we gotta seal that concrete. If I were to pour a big, full, thick pour right now, a flood coat, it's gonna bubble because the air can't get out. If you do a really thin coat, it seals that and without all these little bubbles. So that's why we're just mixing up a little bit. Gonna roll it on tight with the epoxy roller. The roller we have is just made for epoxy so it doesn't leave a bunch of lint. Mm -hmm. And then tomorrow we'll trowel it and we want it on thicker and it won't bubble because the air is trapped with the prime. Okay. Okay, makes sense? Yeah. Two, two step process. Two to one ratio on the floor and epoxy. It's a thinner product, so it'll one. go further and, and oh, okay. roll out easier. So two part A? Yep, two part A to one part B. Okay. Just like our casting resin. So have you ever used these graduated buckets on the side here? I haven't, I've seen you so do So see our two to one? Yes. So I'm going oh, four, there we go. and then the one I'll go up to the four. Oh, okay. Yep, so it makes the measuring a lot easier. It's not rocket surgery. <laughs> Shake your metallics before you open this and it breaks it up a little bit for you, so it's Does easier that, to mix Ooh, that much. Wow, that's gonna have some shine to it, isn't it? A little bit, you'll see right through the, <coughs> to the concrete because yeah, be cool. it's so thin, but this gives you some good undertone. Okay, we got our prime coat mixed up. It's the same product, our same flooring epoxy, just at 300 square feet per gallon. It's easy to prime, you're just gonna do a thin coat. Don't overdo it, let that air escape from your concrete slab. We're gonna do a perimeter cut in with a two inch brush, and then we're ready to back roll with our epoxy roller. Be sure to use an epoxy roller, this doesn't leave a bunch of lint on your floor. Our Amazon tool links have the exact rollers that we're using here, and I love them. I love going over level quick with this stuff. That's it, looks it. Like, it looks like it takes it really well. Oh yeah. It's been the next day, we're gonna sand the floor, we're gonna wipe the dust, we're gonna apply our flood coat. The first coat's gonna have some bubbles and nibs and nubs and high points. That's just a seal coat to stop the air coming into your flood coat. 
Okay guys, it's time to apply our top coat, our flood coat of our flooring project. We're gonna use the same flooring epoxy we did yesterday, but we're gonna mix it at a 100 square foot per gallon ratio for this project. It's gonna be a two to one, same bottles. We're gonna then add our metallic, we'll mix that vigorously, and our accent color is going to be white. We'll do a deep silver on the majority of the project, and then a white, and that will contrast those shower panels. It'll really be the opposite of what we did in the shower, but I think it'll look fantastic. We got our color mixed in, let's add our part B, and then we're ready to apply the epoxy. We're already ready and set up inside. We got our landing, we got our spike shoes, we got our tools ready. Be prepared before you mix the part B in, because that's when the clock starts. Have you been to StoneCoatCountertops.com? Are you enjoying this video? Well, you'll enjoy the step-by-step -step instructions that we've put together for you. They're pictures, they're words, and it's easy links to get everything used in this video. Go check it out and see our tutorial on how to do a floor like a pro. We'll see you there. We got our deep silver, we got our white accent color. We're gonna pour our deep silver all over the floor and then we're gonna meld our white in in a marbleized pattern. Instead of being random, we're gonna do a grain flow this time. It's a pro tip to up level your floors and have a blast. I'm gonna use a magic trowel and a weenie roller. I'll spread most everything with my magic trowel. I may even do my accents with the magic trowel, but I have a weenie roller as a backup. It's nice to have your tools ready, lint free, and clean. Time for the accent color. We're gonna follow the grain flow about this pattern through this bathroom. It's not a huge open area. Bigger areas are actually sometimes easier to do. There's less walls that you have to negotiate around and you can move fast. In this case, I'm gonna just follow that grain flow and make this thing look like marble on the floor. I'm gonna put this right in that bucket. Okay, I'm gonna stick that and then we'll have to put this Maybe take that outside using the bucket. Okay, all right, let's carefully move that around, not to disturb the grain pattern, but to help meld in the white and the silver together to give us that marbleized effect. I'm really using this weenie roller as a tool just to trace and draw in this effect that I like. It looks like the floor is moving. <laughs> yes, okay, I'm gonna get in here and torch this out. Torch this. All right, time to hide my tracks with the magic trowel. I got all that air out really well with that torch. It's nice and warm in here. The epoxy is going to set up well, and this is going to marbleize it one final time. Well, another step is done. That floor looks pretty sweet. I love the the way it's molded like that, and uh -huh. with the with the. Uh... What'd you call those? Grain lines? Yeah, marble lines, grain lines, grain flow, yeah. all that, yes sir. The more that you go over it, the more that you'll intermix those colors so don't make mud, right? Yeah. Uh, but it looks good, and torching those bubbles is key. If you need two seal coats, go ahead and do that if you have really porous concrete, that's a pro tip. You're gonna put in that vanity. Yes, I am. I gotta go out of town, so you got this, man. All right. All right, guys, we're gonna uh, see what this looks like in a bit. This is gonna be really nice when it's finished up. This is, look, this is roomy. It is. We could shower in here. Ah, oh, no they're not. Oh, this is great, man. So, what does your daughter think of the place that she's gonna move into? Oh, she's loving it. She loves the colors, the whole thing. What's your friends and family say when, when they know a financial advisor came in here and gutted a bathroom and did it? <clears throat> well, people that know me well know that I like doing those types of things. Um, people that just know me in my office, they, they're just shocked. I show them pictures of my sink and and they go, well, you made that? Are you? <laughs> so from dentists to doctors to professionals to white collar anything, have fun with Stone Coat Countertops. Yeah, being able to do these types of projects like we did, 
is very creative and th therapeutic for me. Yeah, I just love what you did here. Thank you for letting me be a part of it. Guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. Visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com and until next time, from Stone Coat Countertops, you, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next video. Did you like this video? We got even more. If you wanna see another floor that we did, check that video out. It comes with step-by-step -step instructions that are found on our website at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Just check that link out to find all the products used in this video. If you wanna see how we did the shower and the vanity in this project, check the link below. We're gonna show you how to do that. Just look in the description. We'll take you right there. You'll love those projects.